Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen 2, better one. Uh, my name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man version of uh, the new Long War of the Chosen 2. It is entirely possible that we are having the most successful uh, start uh, so far. We're almost at the end of month number two and we got three scientists, two engineers, lots and lots and lots of resistance staff. And on top of it, the game offers us now an enemy material, so a smash and grab mission, which we are happy to take. So let's jump right into it. All right, might as well start the mission here. We've just arrived in the outskirts of uh, Northern Africa. And it's time for a smash and grab mission. We do have high ground over here, which is probably the right uh, place. So we're going to go uh, via the high ground and we'll establish a hole, uh, foothold there. We need to make sure that we're not being spotted out, because as long as we're not spotted out, the timer of the mission will not start, which is exactly what we're looking for stalling and delaying. Stepping off. We need to get uh, to the actual um, supplies and then we can start uh, uh, we can start marking them. My self set goal is 10 out of the 12. Not sure if we will be able to do that because it's actually going to be quite difficult. Got it. We're fighting against 10 to 12 enemies, so I am assuming 12 just to be safe. We got one drone over here, which if we had a specialist, we would simply uh, shut down. But since we do not have one, Done. we just got to deal with it. I'm not sure why we can't see the area here. That doesn't really make any sense. Okay, moving further up. Sniper takes the high ground position and we're unfortunately pretty limited in our options here. Overwatch, 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 and that's pretty much it. We are close to the first supply crate. And I would want to trigger a real pack and not just a drone. Drone, however, has its firm. Uh, uh, it sets us firmly uh, down there, so we cannot really move. Oh, and that might be a problem as well. Moving to designated coordinates. I don't want to risk that. Moving to position. This here is probably stretching it quite a bit.
or we're going to go to here. Not sure though if this is going to be safe. So let's take a look first with a blue move. Well, it seems legit, so might as well position ourselves here. And we can start our engagement very soon. The tower is strong enough to be considered, well, it's not a real, um, it's not a real enemy pack, but since it has so much armor, might as well, uh, might as well deal with it right away, right? So, we are going to shred it and then we're going to kill it, plus the grenade will attract attention, which means it's very likely that we're going to see additional uh, targets coming in. the supplies because now it's on and we are going to start with the tower turret needs to die thanks to the shredding that worked out quite well hold a target Okay. Well, of course, we're grazing it only. I don't want to use run and gun for that. That's pretty stupid, but it was partially my fault for putting the assault so far away. Let's scout ahead. Good, we do have two further crates marked for next round. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1 5. Okay. All right, let's move in. Marking the supplies. Advance locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Before we move in, let's scout the area. X-ray spotted. So Uh, 
we do not want to trigger the full pack, but we clearly want to kill the drone, right? I'm going. So what we're doing is... I would actually start pulling the drone with a uh, with a shot or simply completely removing it that works of course as well closing on target position now moving to here Okay, we're a bit exposed just with the positioning right here. We could hand over a teamwork action, but I, I don't want to do that yet. It's a very valuable skill. So it's unclear whether or not they are going to, um, to investigate it if they are. Well, they probably are investigating, then they are going to find us, we're going to be flanked, and they will take shots at us. You can already see the story unfolding. Plus they heard explosions, it's very likely that they are going to join our way. Yeah, they are They are already running, so that means they are on yellow alert. And as such, they can immediately take shots, specifically if you are not in cover. Look at that! This is most likely going to trigger everyone on the map. Not even a question. There's another pack over uh, another um, crate over there. Okay, nicely done. He's still standing behind full cover. Moving. This one's gotta be bright. Good. Let's give him a flashbang. Organa's picking up another crate. And we are, since we have a five turns cool, uh, five turns uh, evac timer, we are definitely planting an evac. Oh fuck, did that reveal her? Yeah, good. Okay, so much for our uh, stealth. I could have easily let him do the re, uh, do the uh, e Evic. Yeah, I didn't know that. My bad. Clearly a misplay. There is. There are still two more picks. So. Good to go. We're going into full cover.
Well, that's annoying. I was hoping that he wouldn't be able to hit us. Yeah, I can't reach all of those, but we can certainly reach uh, the crates over here. It's just a matter of time until we would um, trigger another pack, but that's fine. We need the crates. Now with them in a decent position, we are totally capable of killing this guy here. Probably should have marked the crate first. We're going to be greedy and take the loot plus the crate here. Air trigger plus crate. Moving up into flanking position. We can't get the or we can't get the crate here, but we most certainly can deal with both of them. At least for one round. Moving up. The next turn, we're going to use our rocket. Let's not mark the crate because that would bring us to a, uh, into a uh, into a flanking position. <coughs> Lost a single crate so far. Advent just dare lifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. I gotta uh, kill the uh, sector because I want to use the uh, rocket. chance for him to hit. What? Did, did anyone just take damage? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. can fully reach the sector, which means I'm probably going to collect a crate and another crate. Six crates are still left open, so one, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, gotcha. Well, 
Run the gun is up again. The most important part is killing the sector. Lightning reflexes will mitigate the overwatch. Alright, die. Well, we had a plan at least. Could have used holo targeting, but in all honesty, I wouldn't have guessed that we would have missed that one. Okay, a rocket would be really helpful. But since that's not possible, might as well simply kill those guys. Come on. Good, that's one down. Moving into full cover. Trying to hit this guy here. Rolling. And we're moving into half cover Overwatch. Overwatch. And that's pretty much it. Okay, we gotta take out the gunner next. I have visual. Of course, <clears throat> we just found another pack. Probably just need to. Um, leave them be for uh, for the time being. We have a lot of high priority targets here. Fortunately, we can't reach him. We totally could kill either of these guys. Reinforcements in two turns. So this is not going to kill him even if it crits. This would be stunning him. If he's stunned he's going to lose his um, he's going to lose his zombie. find a position how yeah that here would make sense okay we couldn't kill him completely probably going to lose this here 
unless I come up with a spectacular idea, which I think I won't. Zombie down. You know, I do have, theoretically, there is a chance, but it's a small one. We could hit him and kill him. Nope, not gonna happen. Moving up. That's the scope. We got seven. Could move up to here and make it eight and then get the hell out of here, which I think we're going to do. We're taking the overwatch shot. We have one more turn until reinforcements show up. And with eight crates, we did reasonably well. There's, I think, a ninth one here. Might as well be able to salvage that. Okay, so, time to make sure that he is going to die. Moving on target location. The reason why I have moved him there is if we are killing uh, killing the sector from here, we're standing right in the open. So that's nonsense. On stock, not too bad. Can our sniper see anyone? No. By the way, since they are hiding behind this area, once they come a little bit closer, it might be the perfect timing for a rocket. One more turn on the reinforcements, though. Difficult. Very difficult. Let's get the crates. So we do have two further crates marked, which means we're going in for 10 overall. And I think the next turns is just going to be sprinting away. Moving to position. Taking proper cover and reload because I don't want to take the mine spin. We need we maybe need the uh, the rocket. Overwatch. One overwatch and our sniper already starts moving over.
It's time to move. There's the mind spin. Oh, let's hope we're not. Oh God. Yeah, we need to kill the sector. Elsewise, we're being uh, forced to stay there. But I already prepared the rocket for that exact reason. And we're going to see reinforcements now, which is a problem. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. of the supply crates in this area. Menace 1-5, you're clear for evac. We got what we came for, so... No, 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 no. It needs to really hit there. home. I think we're taking this one here. Let's hope that he hits the rocket. Not quite. Already there. We do not yet have run and gun. Move into here, so we could theoretically stun it. So we could theoretically stun it. Come on, that would be awesome. Nice. I think that should uh, suppress panic. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Bang, uh, still not far enough. Overwatch. All right, first set of reinforcements now. Our job is to really get the F out of here. Luckily, they are spawning at the very back of the map. Which means all we have to deal with is one trooper at the moment. All right. Looks like they called in backup. There we go, panic finally removed. Well, we certainly don't want to stand here anymore. Okay, so how are we going to go about that? Most everyone could leave short of our Shinobi, who could move pretty far. Mind spin is on cooldown, so that should be fine. So we're simply extracting everyone. Solid copy. We'll do. Affirmative. Just in time. Let's go. Heading home. 
Okay, mind spin is on cooldown, so that won't be a thing. And unless both of them are critting now, which the other five couldn't have prevented, even if they would want it to, um, we should be fine. Reanimate? Yes. And he's the only one uh, that we need to worry about. Plus he misses, so we should be fine. That's one injured soldier and ten crates overall. say that was that was reasonably successful getting 12 is super hard certainly not um, if if you just have a team that has ballistic weapons good let's see how many promotions we got Four, five that is pretty good and we only got six days wounded so um, Lars Ertz is gonna get. Oh, wait a second. We're starting with uh, rapid deployment. Yes, please. Our Shinobi, Igor, now gets combativeness, giving him 10 dodge. Our Gunner gets formidable, uh, which will. Offer two more platings, ablative hit points, and 50% less damage from grenades, which is going to be more important later. Alright, close and personal to get the crit chances up. And we're going with fortify. As you can see, a lot of defensive abilities. You want to make sure that your soldiers actually survive. Nice, we got 60 supplies. That's awesome. A lot of uh, alloys and crystals. And we have quite a few corporals, actually. So that worked out well. Matter of fact, some of our main team has less uh, have less ranks uh, than uh, the second team. <coughs> As for the guerrilla tactic school, I'm still saving for Vul Vulture uh, because we want to get that additional drop. Loot is very important. Uh, we could, however, spend just 35 supplies to start the upgrade of the officer school. And to pick officers, I usually like to go for shinobis. Officers have a separate uh, perk, a full tree <coughs> of those. You can field uh, two officers in one mission. Um, and yeah, usually you're only having one uh, one uh, shinobi in a team anyway, so it kind of makes sense. Plus the officer perks allow the shinobi to, to deal, uh, to do actions even if they remain stealth, which is usually quite helpful. So, in terms of the general team, I think we've just finished all of the missions. Yep. Besides the few wounded, we are ready to field new missions, which means full steam ahead. I am expecting more missions.
Let's start by scanning. Because with almost 10 rebels, plus scientists, plus our Avenger, we should be getting missions right away. Nice. Even more supplies. Time to start clearing here, which is going to be harder, arguably. Yep, we're requiring uh, two um, engineers per clearing. We, we are full on power as well, which means we probably need to uh, need to build a power generator next. But that can wait. Um, training facility would also be nice. But uh, the power generator can wait just a little bit. We gotta invest our money um, into laser rifles. Because we already have um, researched that. See? There we go. So that's resistance personnel, three resistance personnel and four resistance personnel. Gosh, we don't even need that many. Ten days to infiltrate though. Yeah, I mean, we're going to do it, but effectively all that does is it gives you uh, all it does is it gives us one additional rebel unless we can transfer them which i think we can't okay first things first 10 days by the way is phenomenal uh, a phenomenal time for an infiltration so Let's sell some uh, some unnecessary stuff, which we are trading for for laser weapons. Um, I mean, I like weapon upgrades. Don't get me wrong, but I like laser weapons even more. Advanced scope is good. The autoloader is go uh, good. Um, hair trigger is probably not uh, not as important as a laser sight. So yeah, we're exactly at a hundred supplies, which brings us to our engineering department, and we got to build a couple of items. Weapon-wise, one SMG, three laser rifles, and two AP rounds against armored targets. I got a report of some creaking down by the aft lift yesterday. I just hope it's not metal fatigue. Oh, it's still Elena Outrider who needs to level up. Okay, so I think the 10 days mission is going to be remarkably easy. Unfortunately, the reward is offering us, I don't know, maybe it fills up the other, uh, the other uh, areas as well. I don't think so though. Let me fix this one here first, and uh, then we're going to go into the mission. So I decided that this mission is going to be a leveling mission for uh, our squaddies. I picked <coughs> basically the bottom of our roster and uh, put a nice team together. We're still, with 10 days to go, we're still like far, far beyond um, the total infiltration time that's needed. So. Might as well pull it off with um, that many people. They should get a decent bump in experience. 
I didn't want to um, to go even further in the infiltration. Could have gone down to 150, maybe even 200 percent infiltration. So the resistance operatives are less important than probably the experience that we're getting. <coughs> and there we go, we're finding new missions. Another engineer, that's perfect, five days. That is actually one of uh, the missions where we need to have a stronger team because it probably will be di more difficult. So uh, what I've forgotten to say uh, though with the other team is I gave them one laser rifle and one um, armor penetrating rounds. So let me uh, uh, let me fill this team up and I'll be back in a second. Okay, after several attempts to get five people into this uh, mission, I needed to notice that unless I want to fight <coughs> quite literally almost double the amount of enemies, uh, we are going in with four people. I still am confident that uh, four of uh, our well-equipped specifically with two laser weapons and uh, one armor penetrating round as well as quote unquote high level characters um, can take out uh, can take on uh, 10 to 12 enemies so it's going to be rather a difficult mission but the reward is also nice an engineer is exactly what we were looking for still got plenty more soldiers to field so we continue uh, looking for missions and there's the next one intel package plus uh, intel that's exactly what we need to make contact with our third region and we're looking at nine days recover an item from an advent vehicle Setting course for the West African sector. well that should work out well for us let me shortly set up the team and I was able to fit in literally everyone into this squad. Uh, since we have such a high uh, mission time, we could almost get the 10 days with the entirety of the squad. Of course, we could also do it a bit faster, but I think giving everyone experience is um, almost more effective. You know, it depends. Uh, we could also take only half of the team and that's what we want to three four five maybe and try to do another mission with three to four for an additional reward but i think we're fine i think we're fine So everyone is, again, on a mission, which means these guys here should recruit. And since we are soon uh, full, we're going for supply here. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a solid strategy until everything, of course, is um, until every mission is done. Then we're going back to Intel. We're increasing the healing rate in the meantime. Okay, just said that there is someone ready for contact and is now available for recruiting. We could get another recruit for 20 supplies. We need a, another 
uh, specialist, so might be not the worst idea to get one. Problem is, I don't know what to sell for uh, that I wouldn't want to keep. Yeah. We could put away the laser sight. Yeah. No, not really worth it. We might hire him at a later stage, but now money is tight. That was one of the disadvantages of the strategy. You gotta manage your finances very well. Another recovery from their wounds. Ooh, and there's a there's an actual supply raid. I want to react to it, so let me think how we're dealing with it. If we were to do our resistance mission here, that'll be a problem. However, wait a second, how many more days? So, that's six more days. This here is two more days until, until we can get the engineer. Essentially, that's our prime team. So let's say we would be done with them and those four are available a couple of people have recovered from their injuries and i'm considering doing a really low infiltration supply run because supply runs allow you to keep corpses which is seldom so we would have our um, prime sniper we ha would have another grenadier and we would have an assault, which, by the way, it's the right color coding. All right, much better. That's how it's supposed to look like. Anyways, we would have three more available. And we could... And we would have a Shinobi available. So that's a team of eight. So the plan is we are going to... Finish the mission here, and then launch uh, immediately launch an attack on the on the supply raid. It's going to be risky, but the supply raid zero percent supply raid will yield us a lot of experience and a lot of corpses. Good, let's get some more supplies by scanning here. And another smash and grab um, mission. I like it, but the problem is it's only a three days mission and you can't really get a lot of resources out of it. The main source of resources is going to be the um, the supply rate right here. Great. We're not going to put him into further training for now that's fine still waiting for this mission here to happen there we go 
So prior to the supply drop, we're actually going to do the mission. This here is going to yield us yet another engineer. So before month number two ends, we are having three engineers, three scientists, um, complete laser weapons, because they are effectively done, and three buildings, laboratory plus our soldiers. Most of them have really decent experience already. Could be faster. I think we probably need the extra experience from kills. That's a different story. We kill. Uh, it was cost us seventy-five supplies. Vulture and wet work. Probably the next big things to get. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, consider uh, subscribing, leaving a like or a comment down below. Thanks and goodbye.